Version 5.0 of my custom loop filter is out and it's a massive overhaul. It'll have a very similar flag system to what you're used to if you've used version one through four in the past, but you'll see as I go through a lot of changes and the most cosmetic change is that I'm replacing the gold tier basic drop, for example, um, alchemy orbs are now gonna show in this sort of salmon pink instead of gold, just to change it up, just to make it look different and uh, have a different feel and sort of represent that the filter is new. Um, version 1.0, of course, had four major flag colors, and then 2.0, I added the black flag, which some people will wanna ignore, but most people will wanna pick up. Back in version three, I separated out a separate flag color for uniques. This is seen here on the left. That system is kept. And in version 4.0, I adjusted flag colors a bit more and I fixed uh, jewels quite a bit, cluster jewels and basic jewels. Now in version five, I've made changes entirely from the ground up, not just the pink flag, but new fractured item sorting and new influenced item sorting. When I originally designed the filter, it was all about the fact that there were too many unique showing and there were too many rares showing. And so that was the entire theme is that this is a pretty strict filter for basically when you hit tier 15 to tier 16 maps in trade league only. It blocks a lot of bases, but the new one here does show a lot more bases in under very specific circumstances. And that's what I'm gonna go through the rest of the video. You can basically stop the video if you don't wanna know all the details. And there are two links below, one to customize and one to follow. Otherwise, I'm gonna go through everything right now. Let's look at all the details. Let's look at what's changed from the ground up. And uh, of course, we're gonna start with our currency. As you can see, it's sorted you know, same flags in a way as it used to be, except uh, replacing the yellow with the sort of salmon pink. Here's where it gets interesting. Stack size has been uh, kind of changed around. I adjusted it where stacks of three or more green flags are now white flags, and they're items like this, exalts, for example. Of course, any of the rarest items will show white. And so these are the various tiers that will uh, highlight differently depending on the stack size that drops, which is nice for like delirium farming in endgame. So of course, you know, white to green to blue to this sort of salmon color to black. And so you'll see like stacks of six or more portal scrolls or wisdom scrolls. A lot of players will ignore the black flags, but uh, a lot of people will want to pick them up. So the black flags are there as a somewhat optional tier. Now let's keep going. Um, special items, you know, essences, same story. Fossils will show like this, you know, that's the general trend oils as well. Now uniques are different. They're going to have this white with a uh, brown color if they're very rare, and then it'll jump straight to blue and then gold. And uh, uniques, instead of having stars, will have this sort of cross. And so you can see um, if it's yellow, it's, it, it's something you have to look at and check because it might be junk, but it might be valuable. And if it's blue, it's likely valuable. And if it's white, it's definitely valuable. Div cards, uh, same star system as currency. Uh, but there will be there will be none of the salmon, pink, whatever you want to call it, color. <clears throat> Gold will only show different color if it's a you know a large massive stack. I realized with uh, div cards, you know, if it's like for currency that you just want to collect and throw in your div card tab, you're gonna want that uh, black color. But um, otherwise, you just want to see the rares. Map system is the same as it used to be. Uh, with a square and so uniques are across everything else is a star but maps in general are a square you know it's a map when it highlights with a square on the mini map red yellow or white uh, however some of the rarest maps will have this green flag any green or white items any player would want to pick up white are the rarest green are also extremely rare and extremely good and then blue i would think 99.9 .9 of people would want to pick up so don't worry, the only white map that'll show is Maze Map because of its high value. Unique. Just going through map fragments. Same tiering system. Uh, sacrifices will not show single, they'll only show in stacks. Because this, again, it's for trade league only. This is not, 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 not for solo cell found. Do not use this filter on solo cell found. It ignores, as we'll see very shortly, pretty much any crafting bases except for influenced or fractured, uh, except for a very small exception. Splinters will show, you know, brighter flag tier, higher flag tier with the higher stacks. Uh, I turned off all decorators. I don't use decorators. 
and again, turned off even like Onyx amulets and things that um, are theoretically good because it is not for solo cell phone. You can just buy those for like 1C. Unless, of course, they're fractured. And this is a big change that I made. I made a big change to the fractured system with um, some of these rarest bases are now going to show with the blue color. The rarest bases, if they're fractured in general, regardless of the eye level. Because um, you have to check them. They might have a good fracture. They might have a tier 1 fracture on a good base. That's worth it regardless of eye level. However, what I've changed is um, these lower flag colors will show only if the eye level's 81 or higher, which are good crafting bases. So you won't see as many, you won't have to check as many fractured items. If it's a junk base, in other words, with a low eye level, it won't show anymore. Uh, needless to say, veiled items are going to show all the time with at least the black color because of uh, getting your crafting recipes. Six links are, of course, going to show with the green. Crafting bases turned off except for Stygian vices and uh, sacrificial garbs and like heist items, unless they're fractured or influenced, of course. Now, we're also going to show, and this is new, if they're quality because it changes to quality. If they're quality 30 or 29, regardless if it's fractured or influenced, uh, they're going to show now. It's worth checking those because, of course, uh, we no longer have perfect fossils. So that's new to 5.0. Synthesized items have been sorted accordingly, with the best bases, with a higher tier flag, needless to say. There's Sacrificial Garb, and again, Stygian Vices. They'll show with just the black leg, even if they're not special. Quivers, um, needless to say, have to show because they might get chain on the implicit, so Corrupted Quivers are important to check. Here's a lot of exotic scenarios, as it says, you know, six white sockets will show. That's another exception. Let's see, talismans are sorted um, according to what they actually have on them because they always drop identified, so only the best talismans will show. You'll also see incursion mod items even if they are not synthesized or fractured. You will not see essence items because they're usually junk. If an item happens to fall, which is not going to happen, like of the spider, you're going to see those too. But most important are the incursion bases. I decided to leave those in. And then um, influenced items uh, have been really very well sorted here, you know, so that it's changed up quite a bit from 4.0. 4.4 was the last version. So now, like, if it's a good ass base, um, it's going to show. Regardless if it's Hunter, Shaper, it'll show with this white if, like, a really fantastic rare base happens to fall. So you won't miss it. See, only the rarest ones. Only these really <laughs> extremely rare ones that are, you know, usually, like, heist so not likely, but um, each one has also been sort of fine-tuned because here when you look at the shaper, you know, what we'll show here are like the, the top ones that have the highest value, eye level 81 or higher, but then you'll also see these other good bases, but only eye level 86 or higher. You'll see under that, but it'll only show white if it's eye level 86, so it's sorted by eye level big time. And then, you know, if it's still a good base but lower eye level, it'll be green instead. So the eye level, you'll know right away. If it drops white, it's going to either be the perfect base or it's going to be um, a great base with a high eye level for crafting purposes. And um, it's just been sorted by color. So, you, you know, a lot of players might ignore the blue at this stage when you actually, you know, defeat like Baron, let's say. You'll get a feel for it, but they'll all be there showing in some way. You'll just get a sense right away if it's a rare base and or eye level. And I've done this, of course, with Hunter, and they all they all vary. You know, like Onyx Amulet with Hunter influence is great, so that's eye level 81. But then others will be a higher eye level to, in order to reach that flag threshold. And then everything else will still show. It'll just show with, like, black. And if you see that, you can still pick it up. A lot of people will. Most people might even. But it, you kind of know off the get-go, it's likely not as good a base. It's all about that base. Because, um... It might be black flagged and have like all tier one rolls, right? You don't know because it's unidentified. So that's why it'll still show if you want to check it. Now flasks, this is new. Flasks didn't used to show, except if they were 30% um, quality. Now, if they're quality flasks, they're going to show. But if they're not quality flasks, they're pretty much not going to show in endgame. 
I've fine-tuned based on uh, rarity and value, see, colors of cluster jewels. Because, like, 11 node aren't going to matter unless it's, like, a minion. And so, individually, I've gone through and put, like, the minion and bows, and um, 8 node will show pretty much all the time. Just a little bit lower flag, depending on the eye level. See, eye level sorted, and, uh, of course, you know, size sorted. Uh, size sorted, excuse me. If it's, like, you know, 5 socket or 4, that's fine. But if it's six, you don't want it unless it happens to be like a flask medium jewel. So that's all been integrated in there. And I'll put the link below so you can follow this filter, but you can also customize it. I'll put both links. And I'm just kind of looking through to see if there's anything else new. It's generally the same, you know, concept except the new flag color and um, really going in and uh, basing everything off of the fact that it's... Um, you know, I started from a very strict never sync and fine tuned from there, and changed a few things around. Uh, gems sorted according to quality. You know, if it's if it's a low level gem, also unless it's unless it's quality, you don't want it. You're not going to really want that. That's not worth much. It's not solo self found. And of course, anything related to campaign will will have the same color, and that's that was new to 4.0, I believe where you can actually use this filter during campaign, it'll just be never synced very strict. And then there are exceptions, of course, for, um, you know, even if the unique is blocked, it'll show if it's six linked because it has, it's gonna have value. And it'll show, of course, um, Kaom's heart and uh, the squire and so on. You know, rational doctrine, just special cases. Special cases are all accounted for. And then anything that's a quest related item, including building the beachhead pieces, but also just general quest items, we'll have the familiar pentagon with the green text. Heist follower equipment will show. Um, identified items will show like with a black flag, that way if you throw something on the ground, it'll it'll show. It'll never like disappear and you have to hold down alt. You can just see it. So that's even your junk, but only if it falls identified. There's the quest items. Familiar pentagon color. And just a few other examples, but generally that's the gist of the filter. Um, it's a little bit in beta. By the way, if you see this pink color here with a circle, that's not supposed to show. So there's something wrong. And so please give me feedback if you encounter any problems. I did build this entirely from the ground up. I did not start with the 4.4. This is from scratch with the changes I mentioned.